Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We get to talk about team of the season today, guys, because yesterday there was huge news and leaks released about something we've never even thought about or seen before related to team of the season, guys. EA looks like they're taking team of the season to a whole new level this year, and we have to talk about the two new car designs that have been added to the code, live team of the season cards and team of the season plus Whatever that means, we're going to break it down today and also take a stab at an early answer of when will Team of the Season actually start? Because it's undoubtedly going to bring some hype back to this game, but will it be bigger than ever? We're going to talk about that today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Before we get to that, we had some very interesting content yesterday on Tuesday with Galazzo, Team Number 2. We're in the final days of this promo, but there were actually two player SBCs yesterday that were very interesting and a crazy Evo. But first, before we go to that, it's Gamble Tuesday, right? We know what we get on Tuesdays. We get the 88 plus campaigns, and they did exactly what we thought they were going to do. They made it a one of four instead of a one of three, and they made it more expensive because of the extra slot in the player pick. It's an 85 and an 87 rated squad now instead of an 85 and an 86. Halfway decent craft, although I will say the couple that we saw yesterday opening on stream, uh, they looked worse than the one of threes. So I don't know, craft that if you want to. I'm still prioritizing player SBCs at the moment, as I know a lot of you guys might be doing as well. Now, speaking of player SBCs, we had not one, but two released yesterday, and I've already completed one of the two. It was a punnet picks Mickey Vandevin for his goal that he scored this last weekend. Very quick turnaround here on this punnet picks from EA. Mickey Vandevin SBC, I mean, I could just show you the card in my team. I'll show you the card on Footbin though, so you can see it. It's a good card. I mean, it's cheap. But it's good, I would say. I mean, Power Shot Plus on a center back is very interesting. I'm biased because I'm a Spurs fan. But he's got Aerial and Power Shot Plus, two very interesting play styles. He does not have Anticipate, I'll be honest. I have used him in-game, though. I've been playing him against uh, with Varane in the center back pairing in my team. And he is pretty solid for 60,000 coins. It's a one-squad SBC potentially evoable in the future, maybe a month down the line. It's just kind of one that's like a lot of people have been waiting for him to get a special card this year, and he finally got one. So it might be worth the craft if you run a Prem squad or especially if you're a Spurs fan. That is a decent SBC. Now, we also had Philip Billing yesterday, and this card was very interesting to me because I forgot that he was six foot six. This guy is tall, four star, five star, power shot, and bruiser plus play styles with 90 shooting, 88 dribbling, and 88 defending. He is also very cheap, coming in at 60,000 coins. He's two squads to complete. But uh, right away when I saw this, I saw a six foot six in the midfield with great shooting, solid passing, solid dribbling, great defending and physical. I kind of had thoughts of like Vanja Milinkovic Savic, Shapeshifter's card from last year. Not quite the same, of course, because Vanja had five star skills and he was six foot eight, right? But this card looks to be maybe just kind of like a cheaper B Tech version of that Vanja Milinkovic Savic. And for 60,000 coins, it's not a half bad card to try. One thing to mention on Billing and Mickey Vandevin is that you can actually evolve them both to 89 rated players with the unleashing potential Evo that is out that is, again, for all 88 rated players. So, I mean, yeah, they're kind of mid player species, but I think they're at least interesting in their own right. I did the Vandevin right away. I might do Philip Billing for, uh, we'll see for sure. Um, but yeah, two very interesting player species yesterday, 100%. Now, there's even more conversation, though, about the evolution that dropped yesterday. Guys, this Evo, we'll start here. Before content yesterday, there was a leak for an Icon Evo that was going to be released. I don't think any of us thought it was going to be this. Upgrading already brand new cards. Golasso Show, right, is the name of the Evo. Brand new Golasso icons. We have the chance to upgrade some of them with plus three pace, plus three shooting, and plus three physical. That is all that this upgrade is. Literally, it's just plus three pace, shooting, and physical. It really seems suited for an attacker, like Prinz here that's shown, or Lineker, or maybe if you really want the Robin Van Persie objective card fits this and looks pretty decent. There's only a handful of cards that fit this, but... There are some gems, man. There are some gems that fit this evolution. Namely, Desai Yi 
and Essie. And I think those are the top two cards, but I mean, none of them really look bad. Jami Alonso basically boosts him to almost what his big bro card was that was in packs and 500,000 coins. Ashley Cole looks decent. Sol Campbell looks cracked. 90 pace, 95 physical, 91 defending on his card. That looks really good. Desai with that Anticipate Plus, though, I think is one of the more popular cards. And because it only fits a certain number of icons, the ones that are the most meta and popular flew on the market. And that is exactly shown here by Desai's graph. Yesterday, he was 250,000 coins at his lowest point. He went all the way up to 300k at content drop time and then spiked. He was way higher than 440. He was 700,000 coins. This card was as people were panic buying this Desai once they saw that he fit the Evo. He then came back down to about 320k and is now back up to almost 400,000 coins. It is a little crazy to me, honestly, that people are spending 400,000 coins on this Desai card to put him into this Evo and to make him basically, yeah, he's untradeable in the end of things, right? Because at the end of, of a evolution, when you get the stats upgraded, the card becomes untradeable. So they're spending 300 for almost 400,000 coins for an untradeable SI. Now I get it. The card looks cracked, right? You go to 89 pace, 95 physical, 92 defending. Insane card for sure. I don't like spending coins on the market and putting a card into an Evo like that, to be completely honest, unless it's like, you know, a silver for less than a couple thousand coins. So if you really want that, what I would tell you to do is try to pack him for the next couple of days that he is out. Maybe that's the route that you go before you go and spend the big coins to put him in the SBC. He's He was only, what, 300k? So he's not that crazy hard to pack. But even if you can't get Desai, Essien is probably like the second most popular option in this. And this is somebody who I think I might end up putting into this evolution if I get his SBC done in time. This card looks mental. If you put an artist chem style on this card, he goes to all 90 stats in every single position. 91 pace, 92 shooting. He has 86 passing, 85 dribble, but 91 defending and 94 physical. What an insane card. And you do, one thing is, the SBC for Essien is out for like 50 some days remaining. You do have to get it done in 20 days time because that's when you can put it into the Evo. So honestly, I think this Evo is a W. Um, I mean, it does take a little bit of work. I think it requires some games. Play four, win five, win six, but it's all squad battles. So that's really, really easy. And it's also just fun to be able to put somebody who just came out into packs that you maybe are using your team right now. Like maybe it's Vidic. Maybe it is that Van Persie. Maybe it's even the Ashley Cole. Like you had packed one or you did the SB, uh, SC and SBC already. You can just put that into this evolution, keep using the card as you normally uh, were doing and get it upgraded. So that Evo was kind of the biggest W from yesterday. That might be the best icon evolution that we have had this year. That is purely specifically for icons. I even tweeted out yesterday when the icon Evo was leaked, I was like, guys, like what icon Evos are actually good? And that one was actually good. So all of that was nice, but what it was overshadowed by was the hype, the conversations, and just kind of the news surrounding team of the season, guys. And that's what I want to talk about now, because these were the big tweets yesterday. Guys, I'm so excited just to take a step back for a second. I'm so excited to talk about team of the season, man, because we are in April. All right. Of course, we know April is team of the season month, but it just feels like I'm looking forward to team of the season because I think something like this promo could really rejuvenate this game so much. And I'm looking forward to it so much now even more because there's new and fresh things that have been added, right? Team of the season has kind of worked in the same way for the past number of years, right? You always got your community tots, then your Eredivisie, then it's Prem, then it's Bundesliga, then it's La Liga, and you kind of go down the list, you get to ultimate tots at the end, and it's over, and it's great. I feel like it's been like that way for like, I don't know, five plus years. It looks like they're doing something di different this year, guys, and I hope it's a change for the better. After this tweet yesterday, it seems like all possibilities are on the table. Team of the Season plus card design and live Team of the Season card designs have been added to the code. What in the world are these? Let the opinions and let the theories start flowing. One thing's for sure. I don't think I've ever seen a card design with a plus at the top of it. None that come to mind right away. I have seen the up arrows, and we see these all the time, right? The what if promo from FIFA 21 had this up arrow, and of course, the showdown cards. Like if you did showdown a Kanji or Bastoni, take a look at the top of those cards, you'll see that little double arrow. All of the card designs that have ever had the up arrows, right, are some way in some shape or form live. They upgrade whether they hit criteria like the sh um, showdown cards for a win 
or like the what if cards were kind of like fantasy FC before that promo was a thing. They upgraded based on different parameters players had to hit. So live team of the season cards, that just sounds crazy. Like, is it going to be live team of the season cards based off of like the seasons aren't over yet. So when the cards drop, do players get upgraded based on how their club performs from when they drop to the end of the season? Is it live team of the season cards in some other aspect? The theories are endless, guys. This could be fantastic. And then team of the season plus, what are these? Like, are these cards that get better chemistry links? Because like the plus or maybe the crown on the top of the footies premium cards at the end of last year in FIFA 23 meant that they got better chemistry. Is that what that is? Or does it mean something with play styles? Like a player with a plus on the top of their team of the season card is like going to have a third play style plus And that plus is just like the play style plus, right? An extra kind of something that sets apart the card and it shows that third play style plus on the card. I don't know. Th those are just theories as of right now. We have no true leaks or information on it yet. It's just the card designs have been added to the code. Now, a couple more things with this. In the recent pack additions to the back end of the code as well, there have been some hints at live team of the season players. But when I originally first read this, I didn't think this had anything to do with like actual live TOTS cards, as we've just learned are now a possibility. I thought these were weekend league rewards, right? Contains three team of the season or team of the season moments players from the live TOTS squad. That to me said, oh, whatever live team of the season active team is in packs, like the live active team in packs, that's what's going to be coming out of this pack, right? Well, now I don't know what to think with this car design being called live team of the season. Maybe it actually does have something to do with those specifically live team of the season cards. Who knows, guys? And some of these look like regular foot champs packs. Ultimate Team Champs Tots Player Pack. One Tots Player Pack. A max 90 overall pack. That just sounds like Weekend League Tots rewards for sure. A Tots Loan. Some E-Figs packs. You're going to see a lot of the E-Figs stuff during Team of the Season. That is Top 5 Leagues. And before, that meant also just the Top 5 Men's Leagues. Will that also include the Women's Leagues? That's a great question. And that's one of the biggest questions surrounding Team of the Season this year is, what is EA going to do with the Men's and the women's leagues. Maybe that is part of what is going to restructure the entirety of this promo of TOTS this year. Maybe it's not going to start off with community. Maybe it's not going to be community and Eredivisie and then Prem and whoever else and EFL, right? Maybe there's going to be Prem and women's super league in packs. If that's the case, can you imagine how hype La Liga team of the season is going to be? with men's and women's Barca players in packs, everybody chasing after like Tots, uh, I don't know, Rolfo and all the Salma Paruello, who didn't get a team of the year, but very well could have after getting third in, in women's Ballon d'Or, you know, those sorts of things. It's going to be crazy with those kind of variables added in. And that's one of the other things that I'm very excited for. So a lot of unknowns right now, but we're just, we're just saying it as it is guys. Like we don't know a lot about this. We're kind of having fun theorizing and thinking about it. We're waiting until we get something confirmed, but this is what we know right now. Car designs being added to the code is basically, I mean, it's not even a leak almost like it is, but it's like it's in the game. So it's pretty legit. Now, other of the card designs that have been added to the code is the team of the season evolution car design, which maybe some of you guys saw this. It's kind of based off of the TOTS moments design, right? Notice the difference between this. This is like the TOTS car design with the extra gold, a lot more darker blue, better looking car design. The TOTS moments is kind of like, just like Team of the Year honorable mentions, a step down from Team of the Year. That'll probably be the TOTS moments design if you just take away the little evolution uh, symbol at the top. But this will be a TOTS evolution car design, which is cool. It's always great when we have a specific car design for the evos they'll be dropping during that time now the next question is when is this going to be starting when is team of the season when is it going to roll out guys i was actually looking at a few dates team of the season last year the voting started today april 10th 2023 is when the voting started which was a monday we haven't heard anything about if there's going to be a vote when it would start and when team of the season in its own right is going to see itself in this game. So that is really unknown as of right now. But last year, the first team of the season cards graced packs on the 28th of April. It was a long time. Voting started for Community Tots on the 10th of April. And those cards didn't come out until the 28th of April. So with the way things look right now, I don't imagine there's going to be team of the season cards in packs 
this Friday. That seems too early. It seems like there hasn't been enough buildup, enough hype. We've seen pre-team of the season promos in the past. We've seen like warm-up team of the year promos, warm-up tots as well. I think there's going to be something this next week, guys, that is not the actual team of the season. But hey, who knows? It looks like we're getting something different this year than what we formerly knew as the tots schedule. So I'm keeping an open mind and I'm waiting to see more leaks and more official news from EA. But it would just make sense. EA like to do this. They like to drop these filler promos in there where maybe they re-release cards back into packs. Um, maybe they do voting at the same time. You know, we've had re-releases in packs multiple times this year, but that is just something that EA does like to do kind of before a massive promo, like we did during Team of the Year, like they did before the Thunderstruck promo. I think even Winter Wild Cards, there was a bit of like a quieter period before it went like crazy right into Winter Wild Cards. So that is a big question mark right now that we just don't know the answers to yet. EA also did a squad update and added some Conmebol players to the game. I do believe there was rumors yesterday. I just searched now and I can't see him, but there was rumors that Arturo Vidal has been added to the game because he plays for uh, one of the clubs that is in the Conmebol Libertadores. So maybe there's going to be like a Conmebol Libertadores promo. That happened a couple of years ago. Remember like um, that Julian Alvarez card that we had that was pretty crazy. So I don't know, guys, there could be a loading screen based off of that today. Maybe some more information because Wednesdays are very popular days for loading screens. But as of right now, we don't know when team of the season is going to start 100%. It is just kind of all hearsay. We're waiting for more news and information. But uh, when we get that news, we will be talking about it for sure. Now, with this news and everything that's going on, we got to take a look at the market just for a bit. Because, yeah, Desai and some of those players have exploded. But a lot of the rest of the market is continually tanking right i have even lost some coins I, I broke my own rule guys yesterday in the video i was like i'm not trading with cards that are more than a million coins what did i do i bet on i went out and bought a winter wild cards vbd because he was down a bunch and guess what i'm gonna lose some coins on him i already have i tried flipping inform vbd i don't know why i picked a vbd yesterday i made coins on vbd i also lost coins yeah so i'm i need to stop buying cards unless they're like cheap okay like we're talking like that Alfonso Davies right here. This card, he was 100. Okay, boom, this bid. If I can get this bid for like 190K, I will be there and I will sell it for like 220 because he sells really well for like 220 to 230K, right? That's the sort of thing. Actually, before we keep talking, I'm going to just drop a cheeky bid on this right now. Um, let's go 172k and see if you know just see if it slides you never know that could be a nice profit but that's the sort of stuff i'm going to limit myself cards cheaper cards okay no expensive stuff the cheaper stuff is even been selling good man look at my transfer list no bro sold the donnarumas um the closes have been lazy selling decent i've been lazy selling the kdbs um yeah not bad right i did flip a blanc this was good i bought it at 380 a coach from like low 80s to middle to high 90s i think he might even be higher than that now was a good flip as well um so yeah that's where i would be trading with stuff right now on the market because the rest of the market still if you take a look at some prices on this game a lot of stuff is just down horrendous let me go try to win this davies on a bid here really quick see if i can win it but like look at this young man's son man yesterday he was 1.1 mil right now he's 920k it's just like nobody is buying as we mentioned yesterday especially with this news and the new stuff that is being talked about with team of the season and as crazy as it looks yes you do have some crazy fluctuations in there where's my guys that were looking at in kunku right rose up to 92,000 coins he was 70k yesterday uh this Saka was 800,000 coins Betty Valverde had an insane volley in, in the incredible Champions League games yesterday, and he actually started to go up in price a little bit on the market. The flip side of that is the games that you had draws in, people sold these cards. If you sold uh, before the games, GG's, Gavardio was 630,000 coins. He is down a lot now. Tony Cruz was like 1.7, 1.8 mil during the game when Madrid had the lead. And um, he is now, he was just down at 1.3 lows. He's now 1.5. So he's kind of bounced back up a little bit, but still down for sure. Uh, just be careful with these cards. We've got more live games today. Sule was a card that I was keeping an eye on. Uh, Dortmund and Atletico play today. He's 180. Even he's down. Like, I guess people are starting to sell this in the hype. He was 200K for most of the day yesterday, besides a couple dips down here below 190. So just be careful with those cards. As I'm going to try to win this Davies, that's my max price, 197. I'm not paying a penny more. Yep, not paying a penny more. So if I win that, I win that. If I don't, I don't. I'm going to be very stingy with the prices that I pay for these cards right now in this market because stuff is just dropping and a lot, a lot of people are buying 
because of the team of the season hype. Now, let's talk about Wednesday today. We've talked about TOTS enough. Really quickly, Wednesday today, always uh, refresh days on Wednesdays, right? But today's a bit different because we have not only the icon pick that refreshes, the 88 plus, but the hero pick is gonna refresh as well. Might be a really good day to lazy list some of those team of the weeks if you are invested in those. I would sell, if you have team of the weeks that you're invested in, please sell those. I would take the the no risk method and sell them um, this like next couple days, like today or tomorrow, probably today, I would sell team of the weeks to be honest, just because um, team of the seasons, once they come into packs, they might change the requirements in a lot of these SBCs to require a team of the season or a team of the week. And that could make team of the weeks drop off a lot because team of the seasons are going to be very packable. So those are going to be refreshing today. So a little bit more demand, maybe fodder moves, maybe a little bit, probably not a lot for that. Today's also a day where we're going to actually get some of the last fantasy upgrades. Only a couple more games left for the few remaining cards. Uh, we're getting that plus two on Ramirez. We're getting a plus two on Carvalho and a plus one on Todibo. So watch out for those cards today. They're going to get a little bit of an upgrade if you do have those. And then Wednesdays always bring a team of the week, right? And Phil Foden is going to get a team of the week in team of the week 30. It's crazy that we are already up to team of the week 30. That just sounds mad um, today on Wednesday. So he's going to be getting a new card right there. And other than that, guys, there's no leaks. I mean, we're still kind of thinking, where's the Nakata, right? Remember the Nakata card was a card that was leaked um, that we have not seen yet in this game. But as of right now, it's kind of like, well, is he even going to drop? When is that going to be? Well, yeah, so we have no idea. There still could be a player SBC today. EA seem to be going along the lines of wanting to drop a player SBC almost every single day because they've kind of been doing that. I mean, yesterday we had two, um, but they, they've been averaging, I guess it's fair to say, a player SBC basically every day. So who is that going to be? Last thing I want to shout out today is um, keep an eye out for more leaks, all right? Team of the season leaks, and then we're still watching very closely for, um, I just looked at Hyunmin Sun cards here, um, player of the month. Player of the month, Hyunmin Sun is in the voting. Oh, where'd that Sun card go? The ice version right here. Um, maybe that's one of the reasons why this ice version and that full birthday is down. If he wins player of the month, um, that card's probably going to drop because he will be getting an SBC. Whoever wins POTM, that's going to be a big leak, and that SBC would be coming most likely on Friday. So watch out very, very closely for that. Evolutions for today. Uh, since we have an Evo yesterday, I wouldn't expect a new one today, but I got to get cooking and finishing some of these Evos. I got some games to play. Romain Lettuce, Alessandrini, cooking with him in Division Rivals. Today's going to be the worst game play day of all trying to get these rivals games in i'm gonna hopefully get four more wins i'm now in division three we were kind of cooking yesterday with drogba won a couple of our games in a row now we're in division three huh, i guess we're get, getting near the end of the season so if i can get better rewards these last couple of weeks that would be nice but i'm gonna try to get four more wins of that today and we'll be doing some of that on stream watching the market a bit and of course staying updated on all the latest news and leaks and information this game has to offer. So if you want to check out the streams, I'll always plug those. Those are down below in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Wednesday. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the Peace out.